everyone, my name is Eileen Hull and I'm so excited to be here at scrapbook.com with you today. I am a designer for Sizzix, I've been with them for about 15 years and the dies that I design are called scoreboards and they are unique in that they cut and score materials that are thick and they create nice structural shapes like boxes, books, folders, things like that. So um, some people are nervous about trying them but I think after today, you will know how easy and quick you can put them together. So what is a scoreboard? As I said, it's meant to be used with thick material. So you're gonna see how we work with mat board, chipboard, leather, not that today, but uh, you could. So uh, it's all about options. So let's, uh, let's actually take a look at how they work. Okay, so let's take a look at this scoreboard die. It's a Biggs die, which means it's thick. Um, there are cutting blades that go around the edge which will cut it out of your material and then there are also scoring blades on this die they happen to be here um, and then the materials that you can cut as I said should be thick up to a sixteenth of an inch so you've got mat board that's what we're gonna work with today chipboard uh, leather felt foam um, the different blades are adjusted to whether you want the material to cut or score so this here is the cutting blade and these are the scoring blades they're sunk about halfway down so that once you cut these are going to be scored so you know exactly where to bend um, when I design a die I try to give it three purposes so this one for example if you just cut this out you're going to get a book cover if you put the sides on it will be a container and if you wanted to make a shaped card you could fold your material your paper over and lay it just before the score line and when you cut it out you're going to have a really cool shaped card so those would be the three just three of the ways that you could use this die so i want you to get your value for the money and the other dies that we have uh, coordinate with this uh, shape so we'll look at those in later videos i hope you'll come back and take a look at them too all right so these dies are designed to work with your big shot uh, that's probably the most popular there are some that are a little bit larger that you might want to use with your big shot plus also, you're gonna need some extended cutting pads because as you can see, your standard cutting pads go to about there. So you wanna cut this whole shape out so you need to get the extended cutting pads. So let's see this technology in action. Okay, let's go ahead and put a box together and you can see how easy it is to do. We're going to be using a sheet of mat board and I'm going to cover mine with paper because I feel like that adds a really quick and easy way to make this look special. So I love these colors, so I found that paper and I'm going to use that. So I'm going to take my double-sided adhesive, lay that on my mat board, and then I will add my paper. Now, as I said, there are a couple pieces to it, so we're going to need to cut another one of these little side panels right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and cover our mat board. So I'm just going to peel that up. This is always a little tricky, but let's hope we get it. And it doesn't really matter if it isn't straight or if you have a little wrinkle in there because when you send it through the machine, that will do the job and press that down. So I'm just going to peel off my second layer of release paper and I'm going to add my pretty paper. So just take a minute and center that, lay it down. Okay, now we have a little bit at the end here that was not covered because this is 12 by 12 paper and this is 13 inches long. So I just went ahead and cut another strip of adhesive and paper and I'm gonna add that on so that I get everything covered in one pass. So, this is the tricky part. You probably want to use your die pick to lift that up. And then just add your additional piece of paper. 
And that's not gonna matter that this doesn't exactly blend in. This pattern is very busy, so you're fine. I also went ahead and I cut another piece to cover this section right here, so we'll do that next. So this is very important to remember. You want to cover, you want to add the, you want to place the right side, the pretty side of the paper facing the die because that's where you want those score lines to go into when you're finished. You want to see this on the outside. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. Line it up on the die. And then we're going to take our two cutting pads and check this out. We have a brand new set. That's always exciting. And we're going to sandwich the die and the mat board between them and we're going to run that through our big shot. Wait until you see the magic that is going to come out of here. Okay. Look at this. <sighs> I am always so excited when something cuts out. Now, I went ahead and I had extra adhesive here, so try to just keep it on your mat board. So we have all the parts to the die. Like I said, we need another one of these pieces here. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and run that one through also. Again, facing my pattern down. And you could use your shorter uh, cutting pad to do that, but I have the long one here, so I'm gonna do that. And that will give us everything we need to make a box. Now, another thing that you can do if you wanted is you can make a book out of this and you have a book cover right now you know just fold it on the score lines and you've got a book so that's one of the three ways that you can use this die so if you like to make books that's a good thing all right so now we have our other pieces i also didn't talk about this label but this is just kind of cute and that fits kind of right here in the you can see it better if we do this you know, so you could put a title on there or add a little flower or something. Not that you don't have enough flowers with that pretty paper. But now let's go ahead and put this together. All right, now we have everything all cut out and ready to go. So I just wanna show you a couple more options on this die. And I don't know if you can pick up these score lines, but there's one here, one here, here, and here. So if you wanted to make a skinny book, for example, you would just fold these score lines over right here. We're gonna make the box, so this is laid out to use this score line and that score line. But I just wanted to say, if you wanted to make a book, you have options on the depth of the book that you would create. Another thing I like to tell people is to, when you're folding this up, I take it and I lay it on the edge of my table and I score that way so that I'm putting even pressure on each of these lines. Because the mat board is made up of layers of paper, um, if you just folded it over here, you might get it lifting up over here, and you don't wanna do that. So just apply equal pressure. This is a nice straight line, so you really wouldn't have trouble with that. But if there were other dies that were bigger, that might be an issue. And I do go ahead and I fold these over all the way because what we're doing then is breaking the fibers and making it easier for when you wanna manipulate this, it will give a little more leeway. Uh, the natural uh, inclination of this stuff is to kind of resist you, so you wanna break that resistance. So I've gone ahead and added adhesive to the tabs on this um, little enclosure piece. So I'm gonna go ahead, and I would just recommend that you use very strong uh, adhesive, whether it is like a, a glue, you know, heavy duty glue, like our glitter glue or something like that. That's normally what I use. Another thing that you can do, if you wanna reduce the bulk of these uh, tabs, you know, if you feel like they're sticking out too much, you can actually peel this away from the bottom of the mat board and it will kind of make it a little less bulky. That might be if you're making a book or, or some other thing. On here, it's fine. So I'm just gonna leave these like that and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing, fold over on all the score lines and bend them over. And then we're gonna put it together and it will be done. 
So that is pretty amazing, don't you think? These are so easy to put together uh, if you need multiples. You can assembly line them, cut your paper out, have it all ready to go and do them in stages. And if you have an event like a wedding or these would be great like at the holidays to add little gifts and like hot chocolate mix and things like that for, uh, you know, like the music teacher or the scout leader or coach uh, and you want to give a lot to your uh, friends, you know, at the holidays. There's all kinds of ways that you can use these. So I'm going to go ahead and take this adhesive off. I am not used to having nails, guys, so I... <laughs> course you can use your die pick but and sometimes I found that if you go in the center it'll come out a little easier and just kind of release it there and then we are gonna be done and all you have to do is figure out what you want to put inside this would be so pretty if you did a set of floral cards and gave them as a gift. So, you know, it's nice to give at the holidays, but any time is also nice. It's handy to have a set of these available if you forgot someone's birthday or something like that. So now all we're gonna do is we are going to insert this piece. And so what I usually do is I take the bottom tab here and just kind of set that inside and you can see these score lines here so you know where to line it up. Take these, get them in, and then just kind of fold it up and you have this adorable little card caddy. Don't press on them until you're sure that's where you want it. So I just kind of lay them at the top, close it up, and then there you go. Isn't that beautiful? So if you want to add a little label, you can do that, or you can add lots of other things too, and we'll be doing that in the next couple of videos, so make sure you come back and take a look at that, okay? So if you don't want to add paper to your card caddy, here are some other options for you. If you enjoy mixed media, uh, you can paint it and then add a layer with a uh, stencil, you can add texture paste, and all the different things that you like to use in your mixed media. Here's one that I did, I'm just learning how to watercolor, and so I, I watercolored directly on my card caddy, and I feel like uh, it, it has a really nice feel to it. You have to work quickly, but it really shows some vibrant color, which you know, just appeals to me. Also, if you like to do lettering, this is the perfect place to even journal on and then add a journal to the inside of it, a small journal. So that's something you can do. Here is another uh, kind of a, an experiment that I did. I used my flower dies to uh, emboss on my cards, uh, my mat board. I used my embossing, my I used my thinlets as a embossing print almost, and then I added a wax to the cover. So you can play around with all the different mixed media techniques that you want, and you know that your mat board is going to absorb it because it's so nice and sturdy uh, that it will take a lot of abuse, actually. <laughs> Trust me, I've done it. So I hope you'll try some of these different techniques too if you're not a, a fan of cardstock, which I don't know why you wouldn't be because cardstock is amazing, but there are other things that you can do with your map board base. Okay, are you ready? This is the fun part. Let's take a look at all of the things that you can make with this die. Now, this one is made out of cardstock and this is just very simple. If you want a simple box that's gonna take a minute, this is the one for you. If you want to go a little outside the box, we have, um, let's look at the book first. This is a really beautiful one. Um, these are all made by my team, I might add. And thank you team, you're amazing. She used some really pretty paper, added books. So this is how that one looks if you don't add your little side panel. Uh, this one is a holiday journal just made out of paper. So you don't have to use mat board. She just used 
the, uh, the shape of the die and added her paper on the fold right before the fold to create this cute little Christmas journal. Okay, now let's look at a couple different boxes. These are actually used for the same purpose. There are two different ones uh, and each of the designers made a set of cards that went with their box. But you can see how easy it is to personalize and get your envelopes back in there <laughs> and create different looks uh, just by changing out your paper. And also some of these have used some of the other dies that are in the collection. So again, make sure you come back and take a look at them. Okay, um, the next one, now this is another one and she added like little handles. I think these are so cute and you could put anything in here. Again, you could put in gifts or some kind of summer uh, thing, a little set of um, gardening implements or something like that, a pack of seeds. And I think that would be adorable in here. Another thing that you can do is you can take your box and you can add another one of those little side panels to create a divider. So you've got a really cool little desk organizer. And this one actually, you could stack them and add maybe four or five and use it as a letter sorter or like a little folder for, if you like to journal, you can add a little ephemera in here. There's tons, tons, tons of ideas. So I hope that you'll come online and uh, see some of the other ideas. You can also add your ideas to the scrapbook.com gallery and we can all see them and copy you. <laughs> uh, this is where she just used the shape as a piece, an element on her card. So it can be very simple where you just use the shape of the cutout too. Um, I love this one because she took three pieces. She die cut the, the box and made that and has some pretty little tags in it. And then she cut another piece out of paper and added it as a flap. So isn't that clever? And took off the little scallop part at the back. Um, here are a couple others. Now this one, I love this for the holidays. You could add little holiday baking items that you make and just give that to your neighbor. So many ideas. I hope you'll come back and take a look guys. But that is just a couple of the things that you can see uh, for inspiration. Thanks so much for watching everyone and thanks for having me scrapbook.com. I hope that you will check out the three other dies and videos that were designed especially to coordinate with this card caddy. So they're only available at scrapbook.com. Make sure you get them and try them out and share them with us uh, in the gallery at scrapbook.com.